Hello everyone. Today, my sister and I are going to the beach because it's finally getting nice out and it's Sunday. And Saturday nights is always a rough sleeping day for me. So I went to bed at like 4.30, but at 2.45, when I knew very well that my sister was sleeping, I texted her that I really wanted pancakes. And she made me pancakes. She never does anything that nice. Okay, we are en route to the beach. Which one are we going to? Long Branch. How far is it? Oh, hour and five minutes, pretty good. I have my coffee. Ice camera latte with almond milk. And I figured I'd take this opportunity to ask my sister some questions. So first what I'm gonna do is ask you some like questions about like what religious jargon slash slang words mean. You just have to guess. <laughs> Okay. Like you're not gonna like you probably wouldn't know them. It's not like a typical like thing like Jewish thing. It's just like religious jargon that Okay. Whatever. Okay, so first Do I have to guess what it is? Yeah. Just, like, just like you it could be funny. Just okay. guess and then I'll, um I'll I'll eventually tell you what it means. Okay. The first word, what does stark mean? S H T A R K. Stark. Stark. Can you put it in a sentence? <laughs> like Wow, Who's that the... girl is really stark. Really Should I give you a sentence with more context clues? Yeah. With his keep on sitsis, that boy looks really stark. Like, put together? Like, 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 I don't know. Like, yeah, put together. Something like that. Okay, new location for my phone. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Um, stark means religious. Okay. But like, not like how from means religious. But like, it's like it's like different. Like, oh wow, that girl learns a lot. Like she's really stark. Or like one of my friends from CT. I remember when I was in seminary, Rachel. You know Rachel. She texted me and was like, literally out of the booth. She's like, I love how stark you're getting. That's what it means. Uh, yeah. Next word. What does steig mean? S H T E I G. You need to use it in the context. Can you just guess and then I'll give you a sentence? I have There's literally no idea. idea. Just guess. What does it sound like? Stai? Does it sound like a food? Does it sound like a verb? Does it like I have no idea. Okay. Um, that girl was in the library steiging all night. So I guess it's a verb since I Studying. said Studying. Yeah. Well, technically it means like learning. Because I was going to like, by library, I mean Beit Midrash, which is like a Jewish library. But yeah, in essence. What does it mean? To flip out, not in the conventional sense, because like, this is obviously like in English. Overreacting. Can this car go? Okay, I'll give I'll give you. Uh, that's hard. What does it mean when someone flips out in seminary or yeshiva? They go off the walls. Off the walls. Off the walls. You mean like go crazy? Yeah. Like in what like sense? Like. Do you think they should be doing? US forty six. Okay. What if I told you it's the total opposite? Off the walls. Flipping out means when you get like really religious in seminary or yeshiva. Like you start and you're not like. like you. It's more complicated. <laughs> it's it's more used for people who like grew up religious it's and then like got like re, like more religious in um, seminary. How do you get more religious? Like maybe like before seminary you didn't wear skirts and then you started wearing skirts, um, or like you start ew. like praying every day. Ew. I guess I flipped, guys. <laughs> What does chop mean? Like C H O P, but like the chop. Okay. Um. Well, I. Someone explained something to. Well, no, that's gonna be given away. Whatever. I'll just say it. Someone explained to me something to me. I said, "Oh, I chop. I hop. <laughs> I wish. I hop. Yeah, that's not a good explanation. It kind of sounds like a Russian is saying I hop. That's not a good explanation. Cause I don't want to give it away. Well, you need to help me out a little bit. Just guess, Nicole. That's how this, these games work. If I feed it to you, it's not funny. I actually think I gave you a really good sentence. Oh. <laughs> You're distracting me, Nicole. I'm not going the right way now. We're gonna take a commercial break until Nicole 
gets herself together. <laughs> Five minutes later. Okay, Nicole, we're still on hop. <laughs> Someone explained something to me and I said, oh, I hop. I, I, I don't know what else to say. You get it. Yes, like yeah. you understand. Okay. People say, oh, I hop. I'm gonna say that I think it's Yiddish. My next question, what were your, what did you think when I said that I was going to seminary? I don't remember, but like it wasn't like unexpected and I just um, I guess I didn't really know like what exactly like you do in seminary. I probably had like an idea <laughs> and um, yeah, I probably had like an idea of what you do and um, but I just thought it was like pretty cool that you're going to go to Israel what, like, what about when you, what, what, what did you think when I started talking about a gap year? That we wouldn't be graduating the same year. No, but like, I guess like as my sister, but also like in our graduating high school class of 430, like I was one of three people who took a gap year and the other two, I like literally don't, don't know. One girl started posting pictures of her butt. The other girl, like I Ooh. just, I'm not going to say her name. Um, so like what did like gap year is just like not really a thing like in our town. So like what did you think when I said that I wanted to take one? I don't I, I don't know. I don't I honestly like don't remember. Um I remember telling our guidance counselor that I wanted to gap year and he was like kind of confused, but he's like, oh okay, cool. But then like it was also like I decided to go to McClumayon before I decided to go to Binghamton. Yeah. So like he, it's not like I was gonna like sit on the couch for a year. It was like I had a plan. Yeah. And also like I told him that I could get credit. So he was like, okay, cool. But I remember filling out the senior survey. Yeah. And it was like, what are you doing next year? And there were options for like four-year college, military, like vocational school. But there was no gap um, year? no option for gap year because really? like it's not a thing in, in, in Ridgewood. There's hey, for, uh, during the senior survey, I ended up putting four-year college. So they could record that I was going to Binghamton. What did you think of the beach? Should have been Well, that's not really in our control, buddy. It was fun. We weren't here that long, though. We need to go to the bathroom, but like you know, because of this whole pandem pandemic situation, public bathrooms are closed. And so we have half a mask. <laughs> we do have half a mask. So um, there might be some highway peeing in our future.
Hey, if anyone goes to Long Beach, there's so many, so much kosher. Oh, Long Branch has so much kosher options. Like that. It's backwards, but it says kosher. Due to the fact that there was no open bathrooms, we kind of pulled a, a highway bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the beach with us. We had fun, even though it was cold. And there was some highway peeing. But it was fun. Bye. Bye. <laughs>